Smells were absolutely horrendous. People were dipping their sheets in it. Was it chlorine? What was it, chlorine? What well, the, the MPs um, tried drape, well, dipping the curtains into lime and chloride to just sort of hang them at the windows to try and get rid of the stench. Yeah. But um, MPs can procrastinate sometimes. But the thing to get MPs moving <laughs> is smells. And uh, when the smell came, uh, when they were there in the heat of the summer in 1858, uh, Disraeli, who was chancellor at the time, sort of went into the, the library at uh, Parliament and just had to run out with a handkerchief. It was just awful smell. So they decided that action had to be taken and the sewer system uh, came out of that, of course. And that is when the Thames, oh, because it was twice as wide as this, wasn't it? Twice as wide and shallower as well. Yeah, twice as wide, shallower, and then, of course, the embankments came in uh, with, the, it's with the sewer system. Mm. Um, and so the Thames... Completely, as you said, got narrower. So we had this much more concentrated spectacle, this pageant, than we would have had, for example, in the 17th century in those pageants. Obviously horrendous during the summertime, but during the winter time, I mean, this place was just magical, wasn't oh, it? Thinking of frost fairs. Thinking of frost fairs. Yeah. I mean, it's the best stories in the world. I mean, imagine the.